This is the ASL video vocabulary list for lesson two one in signing naturally. The first sign is deaf. So you want a one hand shape on your dominant hand. You touch near your mouth and then near your ear. Deaf. Alternatively, you can start near your ear and come down to your mouth. Deaf. The next sign is hearing. Same hand shape, different location, and different movement. So you're going to do small circles at your like chin. Hearing. Hard of hearing is a U hand shape or an H hand shape. And <clears throat> that's on your dominant hand. And you bring it kind of, you bounce it from your wrist straight in front of you and then away from your body. So if you're right-handed, you're moving to the right. If you're left-handed, you're moving to the left. Okay, so. The next one is teach. You want uh, what I call a squished O hand shape, not O's, but kind of squished this way. And then you're going to be kind of around your eyes area, maybe, maybe your forehead, maybe a little lower, but roughly around your eyes. And then you're going to, the movement comes out and in. Teach, all right, teach. So um, the movement there comes just from your elbows, okay? Learn um, is a two-handed sign on your, your non-dominant hand. Have your palm facing up, just a closed five flat hand shape. And then your dominant hand will start with a five and then close as you come up to your head. So learn. The next sign is an agent suffix. Um, it's also called an agent marker. And <clears throat> it's very easy to do. It's just two flat hand shapes with your palms facing each other, your thumbs up and you start sort of up near maybe your chin and you go straight down. That's an agent suffix. That is what makes a verb into the person who does the verb. So for example, teacher would be is teach and then the person who does the teaching, teacher. All right, the next sign is Spanish or Spain. You want two X hand shapes. Um, start with your, well, let's see, just your non-dominant hand has your palm facing sideways. You wanna relax your shoulder. Your sign is out here in neutral space, okay? Your X on your dominant hand is first gonna to touch your shoulder and then end up crossing this way. There's a little bit of a bounce. So that's Spain or Spanish. French or France is an F hand shape. And you sort of, you start with your palm out and then you sort of twist it a little bit so that it, and, and this is all wrist movement, okay? So it starts with palm out, ends with palm in or kind of sideways. English or England is an S hand shape on your non-dominant hand, palm facing down, shoulder relaxed, Get back a little bit. And your dominant hand <clears throat> is a flat hand shape that just kind of taps on top. So it starts flat, but it kind of curves around a little bit. So England or English. Sometimes it doesn't bounce and it kind of goes like this. It kind of bounces this way. England or English. ASL is just fingerspell. So A S L. And I suggest that you practice that one a lot because if you say you're an ASL student, it'll look like this. Okay. ASL. Language can be signed two ways. One is initialized, borrowed from English, and one is not. The one that isn't is sort of gaining more traction these days. People use it more often. So um, the initialized one would be with L's for language. And then you, you sort of put your thumbs, they don't have to touch, but like near each other, palms facing down. And then your movement comes from your wrist, kind of bouncing down as it comes away. 
from each other. If you do that non-initialized, it's actually F handshapes. So language. <clears throat> Class is with two C handshapes. <clears throat> Start with your palms. Uh, yeah, facing out and your thumbs together. And then you're going to bring it around like a little circle until your pinkies touch. Okay, so class. Class. Um, the sign for there, like the opposite of here, T H E R E. That's just a one hand shape, and you point to wherever there is. Yeah, we're going to go there. Or look, there's Santa Claus, right? there, there, wherever it is. Um, or if it isn't literally present, you can sort of like, you know, Florida, I'm going to go there. It's that way, way, way that way. So that's there. Here is two flat hand shapes with your palms facing up, out in neutral space, shoulders relaxed, and you do little circles. All right, it's different from what, because what comes back and forth. Here is little circles. Okay, so maybe one more time. Gallaudet. <clears throat> this is a name sign for Thomas Hopkins Gallaudet and the university, Gallaudet University. So you want, um, let's see, how does it start? It's not really an L. It kind of starts like maybe a G. Maybe it's kind of a G. Uh, anyway, so your thumb is near your eye, and then you close your fingers. Gallaudet. Gallaudet. College is signed with two flat hand shapes. <clears throat> Your dominant hand should be on the top because that's the hand that's going to do the moving. Okay. So you start with clapping once and then you come up and around. You can think of it like this is a sign for school. You can think of it as like higher education, right? So college. I've also seen it signed this way, which is fine, but I feel like it's a little more awkward. I don't do it that way. I do it this way. And I see this way more often. University is the same thing, only you end with a U handshake. So did you see that change there? College, university, and the same thing. You can sign it the other direction if you want. I don't see most people do that though. Um, yes, the next sign is the sign for yes. So you want an S hand shape um, down, you know, have your shoulder relaxed, elbow relaxed. And what you're going to do is as if this were your head, you're going to nod. Yes. It is important to actually nod with your actual head as well when you sign yes. <clears throat> no is uh, like a three that's closed. And then you bring it down this way. So first two fingers and the thumb, first two fingers closed, touch repeatedly with the thumb. And with this one also, you wanna shake your head too, okay? No. Excuse me. You want a flat hand shape on both hands. <clears throat> Dominant hand will have your palm facing up. The flat hand on your, what did I say? Dominant? Non-dominant hand will have your palm facing up. Dominant hand will be bent. It's a flat hand shape, but then you bend it, all right? Rub your fingertips right across the middle of your, of your hand. Okay, so start in your palm, come out to your fingertips like that. Excuse me. Uh, group. The sign for group can be done in two different ways. Um, one is initialized. So remember class with a C. Group is just the same, only with a G. But instead of pointing toward each other, you want your, your palms facing up. So your, your fingers are pointing up. Okay, so group. Or it can be signed not initialized. Now that looks a lot like class, I know. Class is with your C's straight up. Group is more like, not up, but sort of sideways a little bit. 
group. All right, the last sign in this vocabulary list is a very common sign and it has like a whole bunch of English words that could go with it. I call it, oh, but it could be, yeah, or a lot of other things. So it's a Y hand shape, relax your shoulder and your elbow. And then the movement's gonna come out of your elbow. It's just gonna bounce forward like this. So this means, oh, I see, oh, uh-huh, yeah. All those sort of little, I don't know if they're really words, but they're like sounds that we make in English when we're listening to someone. Yeah, oh, uh-huh. Mmm, gotcha. That's this sign. And it's used in, in um, active listening in ASL all the time. All right, that is vocabulary list for lesson two one.